Welcome back to Moto Performance. My name is Alex and behind the camera is Jay. This week we have a G20 in for a lovely set of MW3 wheels, an awesome urban defender in the detailing bay, and we take a look at an individual color M135i with an individual colored set of MW1 wheels fitted to it that we haven't actually released yet. Take a look. <laughs> So behind me, as you can see, we have a stunning example of the F40 M135i. These are starting to end now, and as you know, the new F70 is on its way. What's good about this one is you start to see the later cars are individual. Now, we've actually been speaking to this customer for a little while, and it's nice to actually get to meet him face to face. It's the first time this car's been here, although it has brought a lot of parts from us. Ibex springs, M performance kit, and of course our MW1 wheels. Now the customer is clearly going for a bit of an M5 CS vibe and it really works with the Santorini green against the Porsche Neodym gold wheel on the MW1. Now the plan is to release that in 2025 as our own wheel finish, but of course for the customer, didn't want to wait, which is also great to people take their own stance on their own products. It's modifying Motec parts, which is also great to see as well. So the car is sitting on Ibex springs, 25 mil front and rear drops, a very usable drop on these, and the air performance body kit, along with the Maxton carbon spoiler. We've done a few of these. We should have one of these on our demo green car as well. They look really nice. That sort of carbon theme, yet again, going across. If you check his carbon arch guards, his grill mirrors, that sort of stuff. So it's a real nice theme going across. Nice little add-on on the side wings, and we have offered these before on an M2. We have the black BMW badge with a gold outer line to it, which is actually from the BMW XM, would you believe it or not? But it's a real nice add-on to this particular setup. For the final bit he was in for today, to match his badges and his wheels, he's gone for the Remus race system with their latest titanium tailpipe. And it's this sort of champagne-y titanium raw look, and it looks phenomenal. It's a real nice add-on to this car. Very factory looking, keeps him with the rest of the theme, and it just gives that car just that, yet yeah, again, that OEM plus. Now, BMW, when they release the M135i, it's just an okay car, and it's great to see what, what you can do and the customers can do to make him look like this. Let us know what you think. Thank you. So this week in the bay, we've got a Urban Defender, all black, bit of a challenge, but we're willing to give it a go. Uh, on this car, we've gone for a single stage polish. It's done about 5,000 miles. The paintwork is quite soft, notoriously soft on the Land Rovers. Um, it has gone to a few car washes, so enhancements were needed in some places. The machine polishing is all done now, and as you can see from the B-roll, it looks absolutely amazing. A massive transformation from what it was to what it is now. So it's time for us to get the coatings down. Chris from Ultra, top of EXO. 
get the TSP done, and then let's get it outside and have a little look at the finished result.